All right, on the bench, out of a 2011 Nissan Rogue, uh, all-wheel drive, it is a CVT transmission, but we're not really going to be talking about the transmission today. So it's an all-wheel drive Rogue, 2011, 108,000 miles. Okay, and what I have on the bench is the rear diff in the back of the car. All right, so the drive shaft comes to here. The axles go out to the two back wheels. All right, I'll give you a close-up shot of this. So this is probably going to be just a, a quick video to let you know, to show you how important on all-wheel drive vehicles tire size is, okay? Because that is the reason why we got this job in. Somebody put the wrong size tires in the front. And this is the result. I'm going to give you a close-up shot of this. This is the result of wrong tire sizes, okay? So, from what I understand, the correct tire size for this car is 225, 60, 17. Okay, so that was on the back of the car. And the front of the car had on 225, 65, 17s. Okay, when we measured, let me just grab this here. When we measured with our stagger gauge, the tire sizes, you know, we open it up over the center and clamp it and we measure it, there was a two inch difference. And that is a lot, okay? I don't like to see more than a half an inch. And that is like absolutely the limit. So when we measured the tires through this gauge, we had 90 and a quarter in the front, because that was the larger tire, and we had 88 and a quarter in the back. All right, so I wanted to show you the tires, but there's no way this car is leaving here with the wrong tires on it. So the manager, we already ordered tires, and we had them brought over to the tire shop that we deal with. And I guess they must have, they never, I looked around for the tires, but they must still have them. Because we got two brand new tires, because they look like, the tires look fairly new in the back, but you know, after the tires are on, of course, we use this to measure it. And maybe there's a little wear, it's maybe about a quarter of an inch between the front and the back, which is fine, no problems. But there's no way that the car was leaving here without the right tires on it on a rear diff that I got a guarantee. So, let's see. I'm actually, the parts do in tomorrow morning, so I had to take this out because these people are hot for the car. So, that's how important, and I can't stress it enough. You gotta be very careful. You know, my suggestion is, when you have these all-wheel drive cars, all right, and you can, you know, because some cars you can't, uh, depending, like on my, I have a BMW X6 and my rear rims are different than my front, so I can't rotate the tires. But on cars like this that you can, I would have them rotated probably, may, you know, maybe like every other oil change. If you get your oil changed every three, 4,000 miles, do it every other oil change. And then when you're ready for tires, you do all four at once. I don't know if they did all four at once and just happened to get the two wrong ones on or if they just, I, I don't know what the story was, you know, I, I don't know. I just know that I got a call from a wholesale account. They said we got this Nissan Rogue that's making this horrendous noise and we need you to take a look at it to let us know what it is. Okay, no, no problem. So they have their own flatbed. So they bring it over here, they back it off the flatbed, you know, they roll it off and, and they start it. And, and I'm telling you, from 
where the, the, the flatbed was to, to, to pull you into a parking spot, you heard this horrendous noise. All of a sudden you hear boom. And then there was no noise, but all pieces and gear oil was now laying on the ground. I got the, I got the pieces here to show you. So obviously, I don't know how long ago they had, you know, I don't know much history on the car. I don't know if they know much history on the car, but I don't know how long ago they had the wrong tires put on, but you gotta be very, very careful. You have to look. You know, if you want to do two tires, you know, you really should measure the fronts to the back if you don't want to go for four. But it's because you can have, and I've seen this already, you can have, just say in the fronts, you have um, Bridgestone in the fronts, and maybe on the back you have Generals or Hankooks or something like that. Even though it says 255, 60, 17, does not mean those tires are the same. All right, that's where this comes in. And it's very, very important. If these are, if these are more than a half an inch over difference, you know, you can do some serious damage as you can see here. This with two inches out of place. I mean, just the wrong tire, wrong tires on the front were on the car. But, you know, that's what my suggestion is. You keep these tires rotating so they wear evenly and then when you're ready you get all four tires put on okay that's that's the correct way to do it to avoid you know a two thousand dollar repair and we've had some cars we've had a hummer come in here where somebody put two of the wrong tires i don't know if it's on the front or the back but this guy had to go for two new tires, had to go for a, I think a transmission, a transfer case, and I think a front dip. It was like five grand, you know, by the time everything was said and done. And you know, he had to fix the car. So I don't know who, I don't remember that story. That was a couple of years ago, but I remember because it was a big bill when he picked it up and when we told him what was going on, you know, I don't know what he did about it. Uh, we also had another uh, regular client with a Durango that just came from a tire shop to have two tires put on and then he comes straight to me and we just did the transfer case. He comes straight to me and he says, I don't know, the, the, something's making a noise here. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. And I'm, uh, you know, anytime all wheel drive comes, boom, first thing we do is we get this thing out. And we measure it and you can see the tires were new i says how long ago did this just start how long ago is it going on he says i just started today i said how long ago he says maybe a couple hours i says right after you had these tires put on he goes as a matter of fact exactly when it started and the tire shop put the wrong tires on and ruined the transfer case that we just put in so he took you know we fixed it he paid us and he did what he had to do. I think he got, you know, new tires put on. They paid for the transfer case. You know, he dealt with them. I didn't want to get involved. He dealt with them. He says, don't worry about it. Just, you know, let's get another one. He paid me. He took uh, the invoices to them and, and I think they, um, they reimbursed him. So, because even tire shops don't know. We have a big tire shop down the street and they wanted to get a tire put on and the manager wanted to go with them because we got to make sure you're getting the right one put on. And we're talking to the guy and telling him, and the guy that said a tire shop, I never heard of that. But you got to be very, very careful. So that is of uttermost importance on an all wheel drive car is tire size okay air pressure too. keep your air pressures equal and tires all the same brand and size very very important now I'm going to give you a close-up shot of this this thing is literally broken in half all right because there was a hell of a noise and all of a sudden the noise stopped boom after the boom 
All right, so um, I just want to get you on this. Uh, I just want to show it to you, spin it around, just show it to you of what can happen if you put the wrong tires on the car, if you put the same size but different brand tires on the car. Okay, you can't do that. Can't do that. All right, these, they're not spinning at the same speed. And, you know, if you have, um, say, a transfer case, um, I had one issue where the guy put wrong tires on the car, and it was just an all-wheel drive, so it had a transfer case on it based on a rear-wheel drive. And when he's driving the car, he says, you know, I'm driving a car and I'm hearing noise. I says, what does the noise sound like? He says, sounds like that when I'm on the parkway. So, you know, we, we measured the tires and we found one of the tires was out of spec. It was, you know, probably an inch and a half or so too big. And what's going on since the tires aren't turning at the same speed, the computer is interpreting this as a slip and it's applying power to the transfer case to try to keep the wheels from slipping. Um, so what we did was we, we said, leave the car with us. We told them what the problem was. We had another tire put on, you know, I think actually he had a new one put on. I think we actually had to find a used one that matched up perfectly to, uh, I think it was a blazer or something like that. I don't remember, but I fixed it. That fixed the problem. So we just hold, hold on to this tire. We told him because it was brand new. And I says, when you're ready, get three more in that one. As long as, you know, if you wanted to get them now, get them now. If you want to get them a month from now, but you got a new one already. But that fixed the car. So very, very important tire size. Same model, same size tire all around. Very important. All right, let me give you a close-up shot of this. I want to spin this around and show you. Um, the new one, I'll, like I said, I'll have in the morning and um, we got to put in the car, you know, things are already up in there. We got to get this thing out of here. It's here. Uh, the part was supposed to be in, you know, three or four days ago and it, 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 we got confirmation it's going to be here tomorrow morning. So we got to get this thing done and out and the tires are already, our tires are already on the car and they measure up good. All right, so let me get a close shot on this rear diff and I'll, I'll spin it around and kind of show you and uh, just a quick video here on how important tire size is. Okay, so the drive shaft, you know, would actually sit in the car like this. Drive shaft from the off the transfer case hooks up here, axles come out here. So you can see this right up here. Here are what was left on the ground. Oh, let me bring this. Let me bring this down a little bit. That's what was left on the ground after the flatbed driver backed the car off and was going to park the car in the spot so he wouldn't leave it in the middle of my lot. This is what's here. And this and that came from here. Fits in there right there like a, a mounting bracket here, you know, where a mount goes there. This is it here. The thing almost broke all the way through. All right, and even the part of the bearing, the, the, the pieces for the bearing, it goes inside here, that, that broke. Here it is. Give you a quick zoom into that. All right, and I'll kind of just uh, flip this thing around too. Let me just turn so I can see. Okay, all right, so again, here are the pieces. right up to here and broken right up to here. So
So that's what happens when you have the wrong tires on the car or you have mixed tires on the car. You know, you really got to stick with you really got to stick with what it calls for. Okay, there should be a sticker like inside the door and it'll say fronts this size with the with the air pressure and rears this size, you know, with the air pressure. I mean, obviously with this car they all have to be the same. Certain all-wheel drive cars, you know, maybe you're talking uh, um, I don't know, maybe SRTs or Mercedes or something like that. They may have different tires from the front to the back, but that's what it's programmed to have, so that's okay. But when you're talking, you know, a Nissan Rogue or, or um, like a, a, a Ford Escape or a Ford Edge, that's an all-wheel drive, you got to have all the same, all the same size and model tire. All right, so I just wanted to share this with you on this 11 Rogue, because this car will be out of here tomorrow. So I wanted to film this now because uh, I'm not sure if we have to give this to the people if they want it or what, but it was my only chance to film, so I figured I'd do it now. And that's it, 11 Nissan Rogue. Okay. Uh, and again, on the front, they had the 225-65-17s, and on the back, 225-60-17s, which was a difference of two inches from the front to the back. And you don't want two inches difference from side to side, front to back, doesn't matter. They all have to be the same. All right, I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and we will see you next one.